Hi, I'm going to show you a very quick overview of the Sverdjok nodes. You press first uh, here, and you go to Sverdjok nodes. You press new, shift plus A. I will put on my screencast keys. So that's shift A, and here you find some generators. For example, Icosphere. We zoom in, press A, and then on the FIS, you get some uh, visualizers, I suppose that is. And we click for Fuel B Mesh. There is another one that is VD Experimental that I noticed in 2.8. It doesn't seem to work 100%. So I choose for Fuel B Mesh, connect the nodes. Uh, connect the sockets and there you have your uh, object um, another interesting thing is if I select this shift D Z for example and if I make changes to this one and this one stays intact if I go here on edit mode and I do this, go out of edit mode, and I change this, then I lost all the settings. But that is not the case with this. If I extrude here, go back here, make any changes here. So this one is we can work in uh, Blender. So of course there are a lot of uh, nodes. For example, you can transform um, there are modifiers like um, what you find in edit mode, remove doubles that's now um, merged by distance, and a lot of um, nodes you can find here. There is another thing that's very interesting. If you press, if you go to the, this panel, press N, you find a tab called Sphere Chalk. And here you can import and export uh, nodes. So well, I will start a new blend file. Then uh, I press N. I have to make a new one first, Sverdjok. And then I want to import. Then I go to my files. And uh, for example, I'll check this. So here I import my uh, notes. So I think this is already useful and uh, worth it to install Sverdjok. Well, even if you don't know much about it. So in my case, I started just um, uh, two days and I think it's pretty interesting to have uh, Sverdjok installed. You can find more information on let me think, on the Git, GitHub. They can download it. There's um, a very big manual um, to find. And there's a website and all kinds of uh, news. All right, thank you for watching, and then um, see you until the next add-on.